So we're going to work with Brian today a little bit on his setup. If you look at him at full drop, get this arm up. We want a T. Are you good? Yep. And you can see this draw, this draw length is just too long for him. And go and relax, sit down. I'll have him pull back again. You'll see he'll pull back and then he's going to have to do some stuff with his neck to find his peak. That's not good. And with the new Hoyts coming out in 2016, the Defiant series, for guys, what's your draw length? Uh, it's going to be 32. Your draw length is probably 29. Or 29. I, 29. Yeah, it is. So he's here, and that's what those cams now do is, for us short guys, like I am 27, I've never had to dip in. It's here. He's had to move his head to adjust to look through that picture. You want to be able to be straight up and down, hip width stance, no shifting of weight, making this perfect T. So let's have him draw again and see if we can make some adjustments. I already have one idea. Draw straight. Not completely straight. Yeah. Up a little bit there. Okay. Yeah, see this, this string's not even on his nose. Just hold that. So that's a good sign. If that string's not touching your nose, that your draw length's too long. So go ahead and relax that down. What we can do, you see a release is I like true ball it's a double caliper but this this is so long it comes almost to his finger whereas I would like it to come out to here so we're gonna try something we're gonna switch his release today let's see what do I got for you we're gonna get my this again this is my hunting setup this is what I use for in the field this is an XT and you can adjust this is from Scott you can adjust this bad boy to make it longer or shorter. This is gonna be hella short on him. Um, it's gonna mess up his mojo a little bit. So, put that on. You could take the D-loop off. Uh, it's probably not realistic to buy modules and, and switch out cams today. Um, but I would lower his draw length by an inch. Cause I like a long D-loop. So you use that and keep your finger behind that sucker as you go back. Let's see what we got here. Find your knuckles on your chin. So, yeah, it's just, I can't, my peeps will turn too. Let's do that. I like to have these more inverted and behind your jaw. Aha. Okay, you still have to adjust a little bit your neck. Yep. But now that you have bone, and I like the first two knuckles behind this maxilla, or maxilla, I don't know what it's called, but it's this jawbone. Are you behind that jawbone now? Yeah. You should have bone on bone, that's a good anchor. Okay? And then you want this on your nose, there. Okay? Which was that good. already looks better than let down. So if you look now, lengthen your hand out. This comes to the end of his palm. We just shorten it by two inches just by messing with the release. Plus, I think you can shoot this release better than a double caliper because you can take your index finger and get to your second knuckle and wrap that around. And now you've created like a fixed, a fixed point here mm -hmm. where you don't have dexterity to say, all right, bow, fire. You just have to focus on your point, aim, 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 and pull through. So I would switch releases first. Um, and then down the road, I get modules to maybe adjust this draw length down half inch or an inch. Um, and then you can mess with the length of your D-loop. But if you've noticed, when I go, I got bone on bone, and I'm here. Nose touches the string in front. You're kind of still here. Yeah. And you're hunting for that picture where you want to be able to just be nice and neutral. And then, if you want to work with... So that'd probably come from improper draw length then. Yeah, and it's, most people usually have too long a draw length because they want the extra speed or whatever. And then on this elk shape video I just made, I worked with just this dry firing line. Mm -hmm. And I work with, a, I usually do about five shots with just this barrel. And if you look at the barrel here, yeah. Instead of just going like this, that's no, there's no surprise there. I take my thumb and I hook over, like a hook grip on a barbell, like mm -hmm. when you're weightlifting, hook over your index, 
and now there's contact with my thumb, but I, I have no dexterity in the bottom of that joint to say fire. I have to use my muscles to pull through, which means I just focus on floating that pin, and I'm just focused there, and then all of a sudden this happens. Total surprise. And I didn't tell it to happen, and my arrows start punching through each other, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So hook over, get a good hook grip, keep pulling and just focus and focus and like. So that's one to try. That's our Carter, too simple. And that barrel's adjustable by an out like a set screw. You just loosen the set screw and you can mess with the length of the barrel based on the size of your hands. This is a, uh, a Carter Honey and he has written a book about shot execution and releases and he makes all these, he's out of Idaho, his name's Forrest Carter, good dude. So I'm here, bone on bone, that's one thing that you want, take the safety off, so I just push this, there's the safety off. So now I just have to take my elbow and bring it down to my butt, but I just gotta focus, see I went off, I mean, this is truly a, a back tension release. And uh, you will shoot your best groups with the back tension release, hands down. Especially if you like busted out my target bow over there mm -hmm. and just got some reps in. That target bow is like, I don't know, 38, 39 inch axle, axle brace height's eight inches. Uh, it's, it's filthy and then you just do some back tension, you will Robin Hood some arrows. And once, so I was just talking about in my video, like I use, all throughout the off season, I use every release but the one I hunt with. And I'm trying out this new HTM, and I shot with you last week with it, and it's yeah. very similar. There's the trigger. I can't just punch it. I have to wrap my knuckle over it. There's no dexterity there, so I, I just have to pull, 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 and then you start hearing arrows slap, and you should literally just, oh, that went off, you know. So let's, let's have you try a couple of these. Uh, try with this one. So get your knuckles on yep. there we go. bone on bone. So you gotta adjust your draw length on this. That should, yeah, that's the beauty of that. It doesn't matter your draw length. Yeah, and you can grip it deep. Go deep into that second, yeah. Pull, pull, pull. Yeah. Complete surprise. Do it again. So knuckles are on the jawline. Mm -hmm. And get that deeper in there. I just Focus on what you're aiming at and pull with that elbow. Yeah, there you go. You'll start getting that. This is not a new concept, and I'm not an expert at teaching it, but it will change your game. There you go. I like it. Complete surprise. Try that Carter, one of those Carters. Try it. Yeah. That's gonna be a hard one. I'll go with the black one first. So the black one? All yeah. Right. They just wrap up in like that? Yep. Oh, I said already. So you're Yeah. Here. Okay. And that's why I don't hunt with this. I would probably like I shoot probably the best with a barrel. Uh and they make some barrels, but I'd have to drill a hole out and create some strap system because I'm sure shit not going to go into Idaho <laughs> with this hooked on my release. It's going to be pumped up, dropped off somewhere Something. in the woods, and then I'm going to have a huge bull step out, and I won't have a release. Or if you put it in your pocket, you know how it is. You set yep. stuff down. Yep. So that's what's not realistic for me. It, I know guys that hunt with these. Tree stand hunting, yeah, yeah. So just pull right there. Exactly. Get your elbow up, pull, get your knuckles on, bone. Okay, so now you're completely inverted. I like this, okay? And take this thumb and just wrap it over. So your thumb's pretty big. Yeah. Or you, your thumb's probably too big. We'd have to adjust the barrel. It's set for my thumbs, but that's kind of where you want your thumb. Not here, not there, but over. And then that way it's fixed. Gotcha. You have no dexterity, right? Yeah, you can't yeah. say consciously shoot. And so you just wrap over and now you just pull, pull, pull. And that friction will start to happen more and more as the muscles pull back through. Meanwhile, you're just aiming. Right. 
in a general area, or, you know, I aim small, but I still have let it, I'm okay with floating. Uh, I'm not exactly on, I don't need to punch. Just keep focus, 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 and this will happen, so. So like that. Yeah. It's going, yeah, nope. that's exactly <laughs> what it's gonna feel like. So just, you're gonna have to get used to getting your thumb over once you have that pulled back and your anchor is settled. Huh. So take your thumb off, punk, get it yep. locked in. Just pull with your fingers. And now you're, too, now you're in a better position of red. Yeah, exactly. So we would adjust that barrel for yeah. you. I think we can still get one. Yeah, we'll get one. Okay, so get this more here. So what we did is we sucked the release in. There you go. So you, once you bring this over. Yeah, once I bring it over, this it. is going, so. Try this bad boy. So this is the safety's on. Pull it back, get your anchor, then pop the safety off. And you will just literally pull, pull, pull. You'll have, it'll look like this. This finger index goes in the mm -hmm. middle. You're here, you pull back, safety off, and just pull. Some guys will cheat it and pull with some, like just maybe one finger. I would say just treat it as one unit and pull, 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 pull. Pull, away. okay. So get your index in there. Okay, get it up in there. Yep, and you can have your hand on the barrel, that's fine. Inverted, so like that? Yep, inverted yep. pull. Needs to get locked in, it's not. There you go. So these are a little bit more. What's up with this one? <laughs> A little more difficult to operate. Oh yeah. Most. Okay. Now oh, there you go. So like that. Yep. Okay. Gotcha. This, I just, yeah, no. All right. So now you're inverted. Yep. Knuckles. Are your knuckles on your jawbone? Mm -hmm. Push this safety out. Okay. Now it's live. You just fo yeah. You just focus and keep pulling through. Yeah. You'll even see 3D target archery guys pull back, they're at the line, and you'll see them hold for like 30 seconds. And what's going on is that they're probably battling some target panic. There you go, and that's what it feels like. Yeah. You'll see them battling target panic, and they'll be like, all right, screw it, and they'll just let down. And I think that's okay in some leagues, but that's just them like, okay. You wanna get to the point where you can pull back, aim, and it just goes. And uh, what I do is I'll get up real close to a target, like five feet away, and just blind bell it until that sucker goes off. When I first started shooting this thing, I'd pull back and I couldn't get it to go. I couldn't even get it. To, yeah. So that's too much. Yeah. yeah. Keep your safety on. So put your safety back on. Okay. Pull. Wrap around. Or yeah, there you go. Now it's you. There you go. Those are your archery muscles. Yeah. Cool. I like it. I like this release. Now I gotta figure it out. So this is like 80 bucks. And you can make your own, but year round, like I'm at my office, I'm doing work, I got a pile of releases right there and I just practice different shots or whatever with different, I mean different releases, but I mean this is a way, it's almost a memory. And if you don't do this, yeah. Yeah. So, all right, well, let's shoot, man. Let's do it.